Hey Bobcat Nation, are you nervous about making friends in college? I was. I'll show you how I got involved and met my friends. Let's go. My name is Mayana Mallory. I'm a first year student here at Quinnipiac University and I'm a part of the 3 plus 1 business program. I double major in marketing and computer information science. I am from New Haven, Connecticut. I chose to come to Quinnipiac because when visiting Quinnipiac it felt at home for me and very personal and I felt as if they wanted me to be here and also the opportunity to participate in the 3 plus 1 program which if you don't know is where you complete three years of undergrad and then your last year is really your grad year to where you'll be pursuing your MBA. Moving into college I was a bit nervous about making friends. I didn't want to feel out of place but getting here a lot of people are really open and accepting and that's one great thing that I do enjoy. Hey guys, Hi. so this is Maureen. Hi. <laughs> Every morning after I finish working at Public Safety, we come down in the Student Center cab mm -hmm. and we enjoy breakfast. Maureen's also from Connecticut. Oh, so I we, am. We've had mutual friends. When we both found out that we were going to Quinnipiac, we connected at orientation. Because yep. during orientation, you stay in quads mm -hmm. and we were both in commons and that's how we connected. And then when we got to school, we just started hanging out. Our schedules are similar, similar. so eating breakfast is where we hang out. My first class of the day is first year seminar, which as a freshman, you are required to take. I personally enjoy the class. Um, it gives you a chance to meet other freshmen, ask the teacher any questions, get help on assignments, and just get involved with school. Taking a class on a language, uh, practicing it. I enjoy my FYS class. I met friends, everyone in there is a freshman of all different types of majors, so I wasn't only around business students. Now that I'm out of FYS, I now have a break. Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> guys, this is Aminata. Hello. There's MJ and Maureen again. They all, we all walk back from class together. We all met orientation. Yeah, we did. Orientation is key to also making friends. When you stay in touch with people that you were in your orientation group or that you met in the dorm area, it's so great. Because when you get actually on campus, you guys bond a lot. This is the Multicultural Center Suite. This is a place where we all can gather, do homework, chit chat, and communicate. There's always a question of the day in the MT Suite that's written on the board. It helps kind of break the ice if anyone is new in here. And today the question of the day is, if you were stranded on the island with just you, a tree, and a wild boar, what would you bring? <laughs> I said I would bring a machete because personally, if I needed to eat or survive, I'd kill the boar and like to chop down the tree if it's a coconut tree or anything. What would you bring? A bow and arrow. <laughs> you know how to use one. Of course I do. We are now walking to the School of Business where I take Intro to Computer Information Science. We are working on app development and my group is developing a textbook trade app specifically for college campuses that will allow students to buy new or used textbooks from other college students directly. I now am going to the library to study. One of my favorite things about the library is that you're able to reserve a room ahead of time because if you're like me, I hate studying directly next to people and I need to study out loud sometimes. You really just have to figure out what way of studying works best for you. Some people can read a whole page straight and they call that studying. Other people may need to use flashcards. Some people may need to physically type. Some people may need to be verbal. You might be a hands-on person. I truly think that you need to focus on which way of studying is more effective for you and then use that and practice that. My RA also hosts event and that allows me to meet people in my residence hall. Today she is doing pumpkin painting. So we're going to be able to go paint some pumpkins with everyone. Currently right now we are painting pumpkins. Meet Leah, Bridget, Ellie, Julia, Aminata, and Leslie. In Commons, it's sort of a tradition to have a brick keep our doors propped open whenever we're in them. And that just allows people to feel comfortable to walk in, talk, and yeah. That's kind of how me and Tyra met. Where are you? I just walked in her room one day. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you'll meet a lot of people. 
you have classes with, a lot of people you don't have classes with, and these are the main people you'll be spending the weekends with and all. What are you doing your weekends, Tyra? I study. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it is now time for me to get ready to go to bed and finish up the last little bit of homework I have. I want to thank you guys for tuning into this video and seeing what a day in my life is like. Be sure to check out the other Quinnipiac Day in the Life videos and see Quinnipiac all for yourself. Thanks for watching. Go Bobcats!